Saw nothing. They saw nothing because the species is in the Lord. Something strange, a little leaping lemur who liked to bounce and play. They followed their new bouncing friend, not knowing where this adventure would end. The animals were headed just around the bend. But what would happen if Zabumafu was no more? If the call care Sifaka would no longer exist? The species is endangered and we have to do something to help. We all know him as the Boomafu, but his scientific name is the Propithecus qualkeri, or commonly known as the Qualkrails Sifaka. Their physical description is having mostly white fur with brown or silver patches along the elbows and knees, small ears that hide behind the fur, and yellow eyes, plus a long white tail. The species is located throughout Madagascar in the dry deciduous forest to the north and east of the Beltsboka River. As far north as and as far south as they are also located in some national parks in the Bora Special Reserve and there's documented sightings in the coastal mangroves of They live in the tropical dry forest, which is a tropical biome, tropical moist forest, which is temperate, and there's a lot of native plants, flowers, and trees. It lives in a tropical climate between 8 to 30 degrees Fahrenheit, with a wet, heavy rainfall from October till April, and a rough, dry season. They play an important role in its environment, which is seed dispersal, being 300% more effective in allowing planes to be more likely to survive than in other methods. And since most birds eat insects, they're one of the most effective ways of plant dispersal. Their diet consists of mostly immature and mature leaves, seeds, flowers, fruit, and bark. Their total diet includes 75 to 100 different plant species. However, 60 to 80% of the time, they only eat about 10% of these species. But they love banana, sweet potato, shining leaf, sumac, and mimosa. Sabu! Banana! 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 There you go. We all love bananas. Okay, one more little piece. There you go. <laughs> Predators include fossa, constrictor snakes, Egyptian mongoose, hawks, and the biggest predator, humans, which hunt them for food and for sport. Invasive species or introduced species include the Egyptian mongoose, which was brought to Madagascar in 1967 to keep local pests, although it's pests to humans, population in check. But they harm the environment because they are capable of killing native species and lead to some extinctions. Because of the species acclimation of a knife species, some countries have banned the importation and possession of them. Feral dogs, which were brought to the area by the original Austronesian Netholic settlers 1,500 to 2,000 years ago, compete with other animals for food and space. They hunt in the forest, affecting how ecosystems function because they drive lemurs away and reduce their foraging area. To control their population, scientists and veterinarians founded 
the Mad Dog Initiative that spays and neuters the dogs and provides vaccinations and educational services to the rainforest adjacent communities. The species is classified as endangered because it's threatened with increased habitat destruction and the lack of enforcement to protect the hunting of the species. The forests it lives in are damaged by yearly fires made from nearby farmers, and locals in some areas hunt the animal, even though they are protected. The IUNC, or the International Union for Conservation of Nature, implemented a lemur action plan to save the species from extinction that protects habitats where the most threatened species lived and by tackling poverty through ecosystem schemes in order to help locals avoid the need to hunt these species.